In Albania, environmental groups are celebrating a victory after the government blocked the construction of a dam on one of Europe's last wild rivers. The Associated Press reports that the Viosa River will be declared a national park, protecting it from development. In a report released last week, scientists called for world leaders to do a better job of managing phosphorus, a nutrient commonly used in farm fertilizer. In Chile, a major mining company says that by 2030 it will no longer use fresh water in its operations at a large copper mine. Reuters reports that Anglo-American intends to shift to desalinated water and recycled water for mining operations at Los Bronces by 2030. This week, Circle of Blue reports on the spillover effects of drought in the American West. On a map, the watersheds of the American West are distinct geographical features, framed by imposing plateaus and towering mountain ridges. A closer look shows these natural boundaries are less distinct. A sprawling network of pipelines and canals pierce mountains and cross deserts, linking many of the mighty rivers and smaller streams of the West. These mega watersheds have redrawn the map, helping cities and farms to grow large and productive. But they have also become political flashpoints with steep environmental costs.